Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You definitely know, and if you don't, I don't know what you've been doing. Just doing me, hey. Mimi is here as a guest. We've done a video on her channel, so the link will be below for that. Go Make and subscribe. sure you check it out. Make sure you <laughs> subscribe. subscribe. Follow her on Instagram as well. Yeah. We're gonna be talking about all things rent and mortgage. I want it to be like just real tease about yeah. the ins and outs. So talk us through your buying journey. And you bought wow, quite you young. You hit me on the spot straight away. <laughs> I thought it would be a buffer or something, but Why no, not? Let's just jump straight in. Yeah. Okay, um, I, I think I did buy relatively young because I think a lot of people end up buying in their 30s because it's just gotten so much harder yeah. to get on the ladder. But I bought when I was 25 because I've had my property for almost five years now, actually. I always knew I wanted to buy. There's this idea, I guess, in the UK, it's a very British thing that you've got to get on the ladder. Yeah, in the America, they don't have they that don't have thing. In it's Spain, so weird. they don't have it. I lived really? in Spain yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Europe don't have that. It's a very British thing that you start to feel like you're underachieving yeah, if yeah, you yeah. don't get on the ladder. So, cultural difference, yeah. right? So, I knew from a very young age that that's something that I wanted to do, but money, yeah. <laughs> of course, is yeah. one of the biggest things. Um, my journey, I say, is quite different from a lot of people's because I did have help from my parents. So, I had really bad credit, mainly from university, and just I just don't get why in the UK you don't get taught about financial management, yeah. mortgages, do credit cards. Do they get taught in other countries though? Because I don't think I they do. do. But it's such a shame, like, teaching me what peristalsis is. I feel like this is something things. they would do in Germany. I feel like Germany yeah, just have it, on. they have it together. Yeah. Um, and maybe Sweden and them and there. But yeah. like, apart from that, I think, like, financial literacy is quite low. Yeah, they're, they're letting like, the youth down, to be perfectly honest. Because I went to uni, I, I got credit cards, I didn't pay when I would leave my uni hall. Oh my I gosh. wouldn't pay for um, the outstanding balances or the Ooh. electricity or whatever. Ooh. Then I'd get like a letter, they'd be sending to yeah. them, I moved out. Yeah. And then like, so by the time I left, like, my finances, I just had really bad credit. Yeah. So instead of needing 10% deposit, which is what you needed at the time to purchase, I ended up needing 20% because mm -hmm. of the bad credit. So I was able to save up 10% by myself. Oh, that's good. But yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, I was yeah, lucky well, that I had my parents to put in the other 10% yeah. for me. Although what that says to me is that had you had the good credit, you could have actually yeah, done it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That, that is true. So I was able to save up a, a large, what, 10% yeah. of what I needed. And my parents would never have given me... Um, I'd say I had good credit, they would never have given me like the 10% to just yeah. go out and buy it. They're mm. like, no, you need to work, you need to save, mm. and we will match it. Mm. So I think that's also quite good, but it was a situation and that- just for like them who haven't seen your original video, yeah. in terms of like how you save- What did I have yeah, to do? Yeah, what did you yeah. have to do? How were you working? Yeah. Working hours, all of that. Yeah, so that's a good thing because a lot of people think it's just so easy. Yeah. It's not, sis. You gotta sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> so I was renting at the time um, when I decided I wanted to purchase. I had my own one bedroom flat. I was furnishing it, living the life. And then I realized actually I'm paying somebody else's mortgage all this money that I'm paying. Yeah. So I had to move back home with my mum mm. and we just did not have a good relationship. So it was literally like a year of just high buy. I did have to pay a little bit towards rent, yeah, yeah. of course, but that really helped me save a lot. Like where I was paying like a thousand um, plus when I was renting, I was now paying. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But no, I mean like with all the other yeah, bills. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. my rent was maybe 700, but then there was internet, sky, yeah, water. Yeah. At home, I only had to pay like 150. So it was wow. like a huge chunk of savings. Wow. But then again, if you don't have parents that you can do that with, it makes it so much harder. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. always recognise that I was in a very um, privileged situation. And at least you say it though. Yeah. Because some of you people hide it. <laughs> you do. Like, like, yeah, you act like I it was just all you. Girl and yeah, like, bought no. a house at 21 and then we don't know that Daddy Warbucks has actually been funding the lifestyle. So yeah. no, it's good that you're open about it. So You've got to keep it real yeah. because people, especially in this day and age where on social media everybody's living this glamorous yeah. life, it starts to affect you. Like, well, why haven't I been able to do this? No, sis, it's not that easy. 
it's even harder today and I was lucky. And just a lot of cutbacks that had to be made. Yeah, like, no go. Yeah, holidays. Since I didn't go on any holidays that year and a half, you know. Mm. Um, no going out as much. I really had to, like, shopping. What was shopping? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I had a spreadsheet how much I was saving every month. Mm. And aside from when you get your deposit, you then also have to get um, all these fees, stamp duty, um, your solicitor's oh, fees. Oh, Do you remember that from, from law school? Did I? Yeah, I did actually. Wait, remember it from law I school, remember them saying it. Everything after that. Yeah, so all of those fees, like, added yeah, up. Yeah, added up to, like, probably at least another 5000 on top okay. of what I had to pay. Okay. So it really stacked up. But I, I got a property that I liked. But the thing about it, which is actually quite good, getting a mortgage but I also knew I wanted to rent my property so oh, I yeah, looked yeah, for yeah, a yeah. place that had a separate living room to the kitchen because I was like right I'm transferring that into a bedroom I need to make my money back yeah, and then yeah, make this property yeah. work for me yeah. so I got a two bedroom flat and I turned the living room into a third bedroom okay. so I had two other renters in they were basically paying my mortgage off for yeah. me so right from the very first day I've never really had to pay my mortgage yeah. because from renting out mm. my spare bedrooms it's being paid off so when it comes to renting and mortgage I get the pressure if you've got other things that you want to do like mm. it is such a British thing to feel like you have to get on the career ladder why did you feel like you had to do it I always wanted to go into property, okay. so for me it was always an It does seem like a very business, yeah, yeah exactly. It was always yeah, an yeah, investment. Yeah. It was always like, well, this is going to make me money. Yeah. This, is, this is the smartest thing I can do with my money that's going to make me money. Mm. And in the four years that I've been renting, I've probably made, I knew a few years ago it was 25k, so it's probably like 40,000 now from renting out my spare bedrooms, you know, so it's always made me more money. Yeah. And even when I moved across to Spain, um, it made it made money, it paid the mortgage, but it paid my rent in Spain how as well. How are you balancing, how are you managing the property while you were away? Girl, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get um, those estate agents to manage it for you, yeah. but I wanted to save my coins, I was yeah. doing it myself, but it was hard because people would not take care of the place, if I had to do viewings, I would have to fly back in. So that was actually Ooh. one of the reasons, yeah, that I moved back after a year, because I was just like, this is just too much, too much you guys are messing up my house. Because you don't live there. Yeah, They're I've heard more. about all sorts, people growing weed, people doing all types one, of stuff. The last guy that I, I actually moved back to kick him out, he was dealing drugs out of oh. my face. Yeah, dealing drugs, I had How no did you idea. Um, was Sorry, it's not like <laughs> One of the other housemates was like, um, I don't know what to tell you, Mimi, but I'm not really comfortable oh, here. Snitched. Oh, she snitched her oh, up. Me, she snitched, snitched hard. hard. I'm seeing like a canary, you know. Who wants to live with a bloody drug yeah, dealer? I don't blame her. I've done it. Have you? You mean. But it was different then, but he was, it was the same function, in and out. They were in and out. Yeah, but he, he, he would drive to them sometimes, so it wouldn't be mm. as bad. Yeah. But it was like 8% drive out, 20 he was a very jovial character. So. Okay, well, I guess you've got to be in that line of work, right? People are your business, no? So, <laughs> so she snitched. She snitched, but even then, she didn't actually come out and say he's like, dealing drugs. So oh. I didn't know. She just like, he just always has people coming over. I was like, well, that's not acceptable anyway. Mm. And when there was other people, so I came, I kicked him out. Um, and then my neighbour, who's across the hall from me, she's like, oh, he's gone. He owed me this and this money. And I was like, how on earth? Oh, why would you even do that? She was buying weed from him. Oh well. So yeah, I figured, we I figured it out later. Well, then, if she's buying weed from him, yeah. why is she giving him money? I don't think she got her last More order. More money than all. I don't, I don't think she got her last order. Is I he asking for it in advance? Why? Girl, I, I'm not part of his business. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I know, I know he's he stole from the other housemate actually right before he left as well he stole like 300 pounds out the back of that housemate's tv and honestly why was she keeping the okay no <laughs> anyway we're going way <laughs> off topic but yes there's wow. a lot of drama that comes Woo! with renting That's out a lot. and you were dealing with this while you were in school yeah i was dealing with it so that i was like no i can't i can't handle this I need to go back home. In terms of like mortgage and renting, yeah. what do you feel like the benefits of... Okay, so as yeah. someone who has just... I'm, I'm on hiatus, so I'm going to Nigeria. As soon as I get back, 
how's that there? But um, for me, I'm like willing to pay the absolute least to get the absolute most, <laughs> which basically means I'm Nigerian. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I so basically, so with the house, I just. Uh, moved out from. You I was got paying a great deal. I was it. never willing to pay more than one hundred pounds. What? When you said that was your budget, I'm like, child, ah, really? That is my budget, <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so yeah, like, I, I, I think also like ha- being an entrepreneur, being like self-employed yeah. as an influencer, I've learned to be like, if I can get it for two p, why am I paying five? Hundred percent. Maybe there was also a little bit of naivete. I didn't realize like how expensive the market is. Mm. But to be fair, I was able to get, and it was a super nice room as well. Like I had a huge wardrobe, uh, there was lots of daylight. The house was actually nice, apart from the fact that my landlady was mad. <laughs> like it was 400 pounds a month, uh, 450 pounds a month with like 20 pound bills in the summer, uh, 20 pound bills in the summer, 30, 35 bills in the winter. That was it. That's not bad, the maximum okay. I'm paying is four, four eighty. Like, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say I travel all the time because like I only travel into London Central to have meetings or events, which is like maybe two two or three times yeah. a week. So so my travel expenses are also very, very low. And I've always been the type to say like you shouldn't be spending half of your income on rent. Yeah. Like if you're spending half of your income, it really should be a third, or even if you're lucky a, a quarter, to make sure that you're not like living uh, above the your brink. Brink. yeah, yeah like, by the skin of your teeth. I can't pay my water bill, I yeah. don't know if I'm gonna eat this yeah, month, but I've got a nice it. place. So exactly. It doesn't make any sense. I'm, I don't know if I'll ever do that whole £700 a month in this UK, but that's just me because I'm, yeah. I'm so, so cheap, like when I can be yeah. or where I want to be. Um, I also do like the fact that it does give you a sense of like freedom. With a mortgage, you are tied to that place. 100%. Where, and obviously with a rent, yeah, it's that thing of, oh, you're feeding somebody else, but you have to weigh up your, you have to weigh up your options and you have yeah. to look at your life plan. Like, yeah. as I said, ever since I've been 10, year, 10 years old, I've always looked at America and been like, I'm not saying America is the dreamland. I'm not saying it's post-racial utopia. I'm not saying that as soon as I get there, I'm, I'm going to be an actress. To be fair, I'm, I'm very aware that like when, once I get there, I'm probably not going to have amazing like acting jobs for a while because it's not easy yeah but with influence and like my business is starting to take off in a way that gives me a bit more financial freedom, freedom yeah you might as well chase your dream and so. it's not like i'm chained to a desk like nine to five and i can't go to auditions like now i can if i have an audition i can go yeah so you have to kind of weigh up your your life plan and your life goals what do you feel about like the benefits of renting yeah, and you touched on good. one of the main ones now, the freedom and flexibility, because if it was that easy to get rid of your place when I moved to Spain, I probably would have. Just but sold it. I just sold it, you know. The hassle, the years it can take <laughs> to sell really? a place, yeah, because it takes it takes such a long time. To buy my place took about four or five months okay. to get everything closed. And so I that, that's what I've heard is the same everywhere. But that's like, that's low. This, that's low wow. because I was a first time buyer so there was no chain if I want to go buy a place now I'd be budgeting at least a year because I have to put in an offer on them they'll accept it but then I have to wait for somebody to buy mine so that I have the money to buy theirs and they have to do the same for their property it's an oh, on the chain. chain it's such Ooh. a chain that just takes See, such this a is stuff time. that people don't talk about yeah it's, it's like, a hassle mortgage <laughs> Mortgage price, like, don't get me wrong, it's great, but it is so overly glamorized. Like, the way you're talking about it now, like, obviously, there's great benefits. Yeah. Like, you have, I would say, more financial freedom because people yeah. are helping pay off your mortgage. Yeah. But at the same time, what you're, what you were just talking about there, like that chain, mm-hmm. shows how difficult it can be, yeah. like, as well. Yeah. It's not all rosy. What other things have you found, like, a can be like issues or even just good sharing things. even like what you said sharing um what i said earlier sharing your home with somebody like it's a sacrifice you know mm. you own your own home but you do have to still pay your mortgage mm. <laughs> so even having a housemate that perhaps you may not get along with all the time but you still have you, need have to you how, found housemates that you like i just thought it would be like an episode of girlfriends <laughs> nah, you're like having fun? fun fights and watching me girl no <laughs> It's it is not like, not like you know oh. when you try to keep your house really nice and somebody's like chucking breadcrumbs over oh, it and clean up after yeah. themselves. It can get very awkward very fast. Yeah. I'm quite chill about who I live with anyway, um, but I think my current housemate he comes home every day and because I work from home, I'm home a lot. Comes home every day at two o'clock to make his lunch because he lives quite near workplace. Mm. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of annoys me. I'm like, mm. this, why? <laughs> 
I've got to come home yeah. every single day. But then it's a sacrifice. If you I want their be, rent, yeah. if I want their money, yeah. I'm going to have to share my home. So that's another thing as well. Now I want to move neighborhoods. Like sometimes your neighborhood can go. Oh, the value. My, like the value. value, yeah. The value of mine is kind of. Gone down a lot. I wouldn't say why. Um, it's actually a bit mixed, but let's just say where I live, the neighbourhood is dying. The council are doing a lot to rejuvenate it, and it, it will eventually be rejuvenated. They're putting a lot of money into it in the next five years. But at the same time, I don't want to live in a shithole now. <laughs> so I don't have five years of my life to yeah. wait for you guys to fix this problem that you've now made. Right, right. So right. I, I want to move. Oh, and then again. Oof. To get a mortgage, sis, I want to move, but now that I'm working full time and self employed, I have to go back to work. Okay. So that's not a problem I would have if I was renting because yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have to go to be honest. Like, even yeah. when you're renting, it's not super easy, easy. they will still check your yeah, they will still check. And I was all right this time somehow, boy. But, <laughs> but I remember when I first wanted to move out like two years ago, I was shaking because I was like, wow, they're good. <laughs> like contrast, they're gonna, they're gonna look at your clients. It's it's your it's credit history. history. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot. They do, but trust me, it's three, four times worse when you're buying. You have to bring in your bank statements, which you don't have to do with renting. So I'm not months, months, that, but yeah, go your bank statements yeah, like, so, for the last three, four months. Yeah, so wow, they have updated. That's what they, that's what they ask. Me. They ask me, yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. So I thought you just had to bring in um proof of how much you earned. Um, um, references. I just feel like that's the same thing though. Proof of earning and bank statements. I feel like it's oh, not maybe, too dissimilar. But, but maybe I was in your case. For both, yeah. Oh, okay. But maybe in your case, being self-employed and earning some money on your own basis, that might be why. Because when you when you work for the man or the corporate, they can just HR just provides a letter that says oh, okay, how much okay, you earn. Okay, so okay, okay. that's normally what I've had to do when I've rented. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. get a letter to prove that. But yeah. yeah, you have to go through all your bank statements. So anything I wanted to buy that was a bit dodgy before I bought my place, I have to put buy in cash. That's how I'm a immigrant, like. Because <laughs> I didn't want it to come up on oh, yeah, my yeah. transactions. You, know, you have to so be very careful about like what you spend. What, what you spend life. money on because they are going to dive straight in. But yeah, yeah. renting, just have a lot more freedom, mortgage your tied in, the value can plummet. A lot of people that are trying to sell their place right now. What this has shown me is that you people actually don't have mortgages. Wait, what do they have? Um, I don't know what you have. Chain. I don't know what you have. I don't know if it's a boat or it's a. I don't know. It's what, like because what you're showing me is that there's so much nuance and there's so much like light and shade to this conversation. Yeah. And for someone to just be like, "Oh, you should just get a mortgage," shows me that you don't have one mm. because you would you wouldn't say something like this so lightly when there's yeah. so much that goes into, into it. it. I'm still not gonna say like. Getting the mortgage is a bad thing because oh, no, thousands of percent, like I do not regret it. Like yeah. I think it's one of the best investments I've ever made. But as well, a lot of people don't talk about it. Like yeah. I want to sell my place right now. A lot of young people don't talk about this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The, the older generation they do go yeah. very rigorous on like, are you ready? Are you prepared? This is what. But now it's like, oh, I just go buy a house. Yeah. What's this? If you quit your job or you get fired, they go take the house back right. real quick, and they don't care, you know. Right. So What's you your can opinion on um, help to buy? I love it. Okay, cool. I think it's a great thing. So um, I think that scheme might be going away soon, though, from what I've heard. Um, but I think obviously you need only five percent deposit now, which is making it hopefully a lot easier for people to get on the ladder than it ever made before. Um, but yeah, you still got to be careful and make sure that you're earning enough. I don't know, I think it's a great scheme personally because it opens the door for more people to afford without needing help from your parents or without needing to save for the next five years of your life. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a great scheme to show them that I guess it's going away. Wow. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. I love filming that. I think that, that I've learned so much. Um, but yeah, check out Uni's channel. Yeah, subscribe to my channel as well. Bye guys. See ya.